Hey guys, so I'm um, I'm opening up uh, a few eggs, three total. Um, the blue one here just gives us six pets. Um, three blue ones, which is great for uh, for for leveling up, and then this bottom right purple one. Um, that's like a legendary pet, and there are two legendary pets. This is one. The other one is called Mini Angel, or Mini Angie, or or something like that. Um, I tried to, it's like Little Angel maybe, I don't know. I tried to have the, the text uh, translated, so it's something like that. Um, uh, the other one, so I got to level up a few of these to level 3. I got to evolve this dragon thing. Um, I believe it pumps out one fireball. Um, yeah, one fireball. But if they don't themselves, other than the proc, I don't, I don't believe they do any direct damage on their own. So there's no consistent damage coming from them. It is strictly off their proc. So their, I suppose their 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 attack uh, stat does uh, does make sense. Does have some bearing, but it has no direct damage. Um, as you can see on the right side over here, that's Mini Angie. The golden border indicates the legendary legendary pet. Um, you can see how, like right here, it takes six pets to level it up to, to take it up to level three. So you can see how this is going to be another pay-to-play aspect of this game. I mean, to to. The, the sheer amount of pets it's going to take to bring one to level 26 it's got to be insane has to be insane um, we're gonna open up two more here six total six total pets um, I'll be able to level up one more one more pet um, what I want to do now is I want to take out two two uh, heroes uh, into a dungeon, um, but more specifically, two pets into a dungeon. Um, it's that missile-looking thing, or the bullet-looking one, that uh, the proc where it, it shoots out four, four fireballs, and then the blowfish one that uh, that provides healing. Um, and I want to see what they can what they can do in terms of damage and healing, and just how much help it provides. Um, early on, I don't imagine these things will um, impact the game too much, but once they start leveling up, um, I, I think we'll, we'll see some impact. Um, now, the heal, I want to see if it's random, or I want to see, and, that, and I also want to see if it's consistent. Um, the missile one there, I also want to test the same thing. I want to see how random they are. Um, if we take the first one here, it hit for 2059. Um, and then the second one here, it hit for 1889. So there was two, basically just over a hundred, right? Hundred damage um, difference. So there seems to be some randomness in terms of what it hits, but also for how much it hits. Um, which is, I mean, it's interesting. I don't know why it would be that random. I mean, why wouldn't it be consistent? Unless it's total damage. If it's total damage, I can see. But even then, it doesn't make any kind of sense. But you can see right there. One arrow tower got hit for 2100. The other one got hit for 1700. So if it's total damage where it equals uh, X percentage um, of attack, I guess it makes sense. But man, if it's that random, that's that's a little bananas. Um, but the healing one, that's consistent. It is consistently healing for 1511. Um, yeah. Um, so I hope you uh, you got to see a little bit of what this what these things can do, and um, I hope to bring more gameplay of these pets in the future. Um, but until then, thanks for watching.